What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. The weekend is almost over. It's about 8 o'clock on Sunday evening. Tomorrow is a big day for Michael Irving and his um, quest to be deemed innocent from the incident that happened or didn't happen at the Marriott in Arizona during the Super Bowl week. Um, if you haven't been up to speed on all this, Michael Irving, who was in, of course, in Arizona for uh, the Super Bowl coverage the week before the Super Bowl, had been out drinking and stuff, doing some filming and things and all that, came back to the hotel um, where he was in the hotel bar and met some people, and they asked for uh, getting pictures and stuff taken with him. And allegedly, an incident happened with a hotel employee in said bar after Michael Urban came back from taking pictures. There were witnesses that said there was a 45-second to a minute conversation that Michael Irvin never touched her or anything like that. This didn't even seem like anything of anything. Michael Irvin allegedly went back to his room, in which case he went to bed to be woken up and by escorted out of the hotel by hotel security. Michael Irvin... Uh, basically said, what's going on? They said that there's video of him in an interaction with this woman in the bar, and he is removed from the hotel, and the following day is relieved of ESPN as well as NFL Super Bowl coverage for that week without any explanation. Michael Irving, of course, went on 105.3 The Fan and had said, I don't know what's going on um, as far as, you know, I'm, hang, I'm, I'm, I'm laying low and so forth um, because nothing happened. The hotel basically said there's a videotape. Michael Irving has sued for $100 million against Marriott and the accuser, basically saying that they are part of trying to cancel him and get him dismissed from his job. So... If you haven't been around, the court basically deemed uh, victories for Michael Irvin, basically saying, Marriott, you need to provide this tape. Now, understand, there was no police called. There's no police report. This is a she said, she said, because he's like, I don't know what's going on here for me to even say anything went on here. The tape has to come out tomorrow. The thing that kind of makes me wonder is, is this is how reactive NFL Network and ESPN was without due process. If Michael Irvin had been, you know, arrested and there's pictures of him out, you know, drunk in public or something happening, then I could see that. It's to me safe to assume, and I shouldn't probably assume anything, but to figure that Michael Irving tape, if there is a tape, and we've heard about tapes before, we ended up having Des Bryant run through the coals when Mike Ferriero said, for, uh, Ferrello said, there might be a tape out there of Michael Irving that's 10 times worse than uh, Ray Rice. Um, of course, then everybody and their sister started talking about a tape and condemning him to basically be guilty of something that didn't exist. To this day, there is no tape of Michael Irving doing something 10 times worse than Ray Rice. But in the court of public opinion, people will still in their mind say, well, Michael Irving's dirty. So here lies the problem. Now, you have physically taken his career away from him without any tapes without any police report without a court of law what gets me is nfl network and espn automatically went to guilty without there being anything typically you know when something happens at a job 
you know, there's an investigation and then, you know, hearing and things like that. We didn't get any of this. It's just under the assumption that Michael, excuse me, that Michael Irving is guilty and did something without anybody being called. It stinks. It, it just doesn't seem right. Now, now I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe there was something that happened there in that 45 seconds or maybe something transpired at a different point of time. But that's not what we're hearing about. We're hearing about the incident that happened in the hotel bar there that there are a couple of witnesses that say, we were there, nothing happened. He went and got in the elevator by himself. I don't know how, if Michael Irvin is exonerated by this tape, seeing that there's nothing there, and I thought for sure the tape would come out over the weekend to try and you know quiet it down some. As of yet, there has been no tape coming out. But if there's nothing on the tape and there's an apology that is given, how does Michael Irvin get back his job with ESPN and NFL Network? Because they immediately went to guilty. You follow me? There's no trust there that you got one allegation and you immediately said you're guilty. At least what should have taken place, I would imagine what would take place in most businesses would be is you get called into the company's human resource department they take a statement. They ask you, Michael, what's going on here? What happened? Did you do something? What, what's going on here? It doesn't sound like either of those things happened. So if it ends up being that this case is done and there's nothing against Michael Irvin, who's to say the next time, that somebody says something, and this is the Charles Barkley syndrome. It used to be that Charles Barkley, people knew if you got in Charles Barkley's face and you know said a few things to him, he might take a swing at you, in which case you'd get paid. And now with society, if everybody looking for an easy paycheck, if I can catch somebody famous, then of course I'm going to do something. But TMZ which I have deemed sometimes TM Sleaze. If there was something out there that was nefarious, that was definitely putting Michael Irving in a bad light, I can guarantee you that TMZ would have that tape and be having it out there right now. Or they would have found some witnesses that said, man, I saw went went down and putting it out there. But as of yet... There ain't nothing, nothing other than some people that are saying we were there. It's going to get interesting tomorrow to see what comes out. And uh, I think Marriott may have some explaining to do. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, I hope that tomorrow is the end of this and that Michael, uh, Michael Irvin is exonerated. Hope you're having a great evening, and I will see you soon.